This next chapter is called positioning and means to form or concentrate resources at a position. These resources can be used defensively or offensively. Its underlying topic, though, is awaiting opportunities. Sun Tzu's main topic is that you can only see opportunities, you can't create them. When one thinks about this, it makes complete sense. The environment is outside your span of control, your competitors are outside your control, and people have needs. These are all good sources of opportunity, none of which you can create for yourself. They are created by them. On that note, while all real opportunities take us in the direction of our mission, not all opportunities themselves are economic or worthwhile to pursue. I watched a movie a couple months ago where one of the main characters was always quoting Sun Tzu, especially this line, attacking where the enemy isn't. The guy never understood that line, but near the climax of the movie, in almost desperation, he took his battleship's turrets and faced it away from the opposing battleship, and then did this really weird and quick maneuver where he drifted like Tokyo Drift with his boat. He ended up alongside the opposing battleship and his gun turrets opened fire, in the end, he said to his Japanese shipmate, who was captain on another fleet, but with them at the time, Now I finally get that su quote in Sun Tzu. The Japanese man was had a shocked expression on his face and replied something like, No, you don't understand. You're not even close. Misunderstandings like those often arise when we don't know Sun Tzu's specific terms. In our modern definition, attack, conflict, battle, war, and fight, are all more or less interchangeable because they mean the same. To Sun Tzu, these all have very different specific and consistent meanings attached to them. Attack means to move outside your territory, the space you control, and when we attack is always on something weaker in comparison to our attacking force or method of attack. We always attack into opportunities. The nature of attack, defense, and awaiting opportunities are all very key concepts in this chapter. The best opportunities fit us uniquely, take us away from conflict, and are seen by us before they are seen by others. Since climate is the source of creation of these opportunities, positioning is often like a dance. When we move, we move to fit the environment and the positions of competitors, and of course, the constant shifting of those two parties. In a sense, climate sets up the tempo of the competitive dance, and it's not within our control. Sun Tzu says that our first actions in any situation are geared towards survival. All initial things we do are defensive. How does your situation in the short term determine your movements? Sun Tzu says you must defend yourself well, save your forces and dig in. You must attack well, move your forces when you have clear advantage. People often say, the best defense a good offense and defend while attacking. Sun Tzu does recognize situations where we must go on the attack to defend ourselves, and when exploring opportunities, all our moves are defensive. But these are for long-term responses to situations or exploring opportunities. In the short term, and for our moves in general, we must move to advance our position, and we stop and shore up a position to defend it. All positions are stepping stones. If you've watched my Sosie Concepts for 1.1, you would know this whole topic in detail already. Our recent history and situation can determine where we can go in the short term, but in the long term we can go anywhere. The more defendable the position, the better. Some positions offer better defense and better rewards for us than others. The key idea is that we hold and defend positions until we have excess resources. When we have more resources than we need to manage our current position and we find a good opportunity, we move into it. That is the nature of attack and defense. In our daily lives, we may find that we may have more free time in the day than we need. This can be because of better time management or securing a position that gives us more with less time. Either way, we can spend that extra time on competitive efforts. Gary Gagliardi says, every position must pay today and take you somewhere that pays more tomorrow. Whether that pay is in money, authority, relationships, safety, or spreading your mission. What is the ultimate basis for calculating whether or not a given move will lead you to success or failure?
D. It depends on how far you must go to succeed. Sun Tzu said, This is the art of war. Discuss the distances. Discuss your numbers. Discuss your calculations. Discuss your decisions. Discuss victory. The ground determines the distance. The distance determines your numbers. Your numbers determine your calculations. Your calculations determine your decisions. And your decisions determine your victory. Not only is this a key passage in this chapter alone, but it's also a key passage in the art of war in general. This is Sun Tzu's success formula for understanding when to move to a new position. We must compare our excess resources and distance to the opportunity with that of our opposition. Remember, distance is not only physical, but intellectual too. To know the difference in detail, check out 4.4 of the Warrior's Rulebook, Strategic Distance. Looks like today we got a daily double. We have another important phrase that's not just important in this chapter, but important throughout the whole book. Quote, some can struggle to victory, and the whole world may praise their winning. This also demonstrates limited ability, end quote. Oftentimes people praise or seek difficult battles to triumph. This glory is useless in terms of Sun Tzu's strategy. He says those leaders who have good vision can pick opportunities that allow success. Sun Tzu goes on to say, when it's easy as picking up a fallen hair. Good opportunities can be identified and picked easily when trained in strategy. Sections 3 and 4 of the Warriors Rulebook explains that in much more detail. The last hidden idea in this chapter is before facing a challenge. We must have a winning position. Having good positions gives us the resources, which come in five types, hint, hint, to face our challenges. Also, a campaign of moves sets us up to claim special rewards, whether it's a job that requires a college degree, special training, or checking the king in a chess game. concludes today's Art of War Secrets Revealed. For more information on Sun Tzu and his system of strategy, or getting a free copy of The Art of War, feel free to check out www.scienceofstrategy.org. Have a great day.